Hello and welcome to this week's video. My name is Billy and this is Williams Imaging. <laughs> this week we are back with another Adobe Suite tutorial. However, this week we are working in Adobe Photoshop, an absolute classic for photo manipulation and photo editing. Photoshop is an incredible tool for photographers to get their images ready for publishing, whether it's for web or it's for print. And in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to soften skin in all of your images. Companies like Vogue and Vanity Fair do this for their models and all their fashion magazines. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Here we are in Photoshop, I've got my image open already. Look at me looking fly AF, that's just pure embarrassing. Look how serious I'm trying to be. Aspiring model, Jesus Christ. Uh, the first step of it is to Command C and then Command J to duplicate your layer. Once you've done that, you want to click Command I to invert it. It looks a little bit scary, but don't worry, that's all good. Once you've done that, you want to come over to your blending mode and go to Vivid Light. Simple and easy if you know what you're doing, just down here on the corner. And once you've done that, your image is actually going to look a little bit weird. You're not going to be able to see your image at all, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. The next step is to go to Filter and go down to Other and then High Pass. Uh, that will bring you up with the menu with the pixels and the radius. Uh, what I've found when I'm playing about with this slider to get the best results, I usually sort of go for when the darker, the darker parts of the image are actually overexposed and blown out. As you can see here, my bracelet is starting to get a little bit blown out and you want to keep it around that sort of area. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm going to bring it down to maybe about 12 for now, if I can get it to 12. That's not too bad. That's looking still a little bit too blown out and the whole image is still a little bit too blurry and a little bit too skin softening you know you don't want to look too plastic at the end of the result yeah nice nah, looking good it's little subtle changes and little subtle differences but in the end it actually makes a huge difference with the end result so once you've done that you're going to click ok the next step is again to go to filter blur and then gaussian blur again playing about with the sliders the pixels and the radius is what's going to help you you know sort of decide what you really want with your image i usually keep mine between 2 and 2.5 that's what works best for me on my skin when i retouch myself uh, obviously, obviously darker skin tones, more pale skin tones, it's going gonna, it's gonna to differ basically in how much you want the image to look softened. So I'm going to keep this at, I think I'm going to keep this at 2, that look, that's looking quite good. So I'm going to keep it that, I'm going to click OK and that's going to, you know, all apply. The next step is to add a layer mask to the layer you just made all of the alterations to. And to do that you want to press Alt on your keyboard and come down to the layer mask button in the bottom right. That's going to create a layer mask that is black so then we can key in the white sections of it. The next step, zoom into where you want. You want to go onto your brush tool, then you want to sort out your brush, get the size right, get the hardness, how soft you want it. Make sure your foreground color is set to white because we are coloring on a black adjustment layer or layer mask. And all you're going to do after that is just color in the face and it's going to soften it up. And obviously make sure you have your adjustment layer, layer mask layer, obviously, um, selected when you're doing this. And then you're just going to color in the face. As you can see, it's getting everything's getting a little bit softer. Some of my blemishes are disappearing. Some of my freckles that I have, a few, uh, few razor shaving cuts that I've got, a bit of my hair. And like I said before, companies like Vogue and Vanity Fair use a technique all the time to airbrush their models. It's quite a simple technique that everyone needs to sort of maybe learn when they're doing Photoshop and like photography like that. I want you happy with the result. All you need to do is export that and put it wherever you want, whether it's for print or for web. And that, guys, concludes this week's tutorial. I hope it's helped you out a little bit. Don't forget to like, share, and I'll see you next week for next week's video. Peace out.